Flexing the knee during standing results in a 70% decrease in gastrocnemius activity. Thus, when the goal is to primarily assess strength of the soleus, the knee is flexed to put slack on the gastrocnemius, which crosses the knee joint. During the gravity-resisted soleus test, the patient stands on the limb to be assessed with the knee slightly flexed. One or two fingers can be used to assist with balance. The patient raises the heel from the floor through the full range of plantar flexion while maintaining a flexed knee. To begin the gravity minimized test for the soleus, the patient is prone with their knee flexed to 90 degrees. The patient attempts to plantar flex their ankle while the knee is maintained in flexion. Downward resistance is given over the forefoot. Point your toes toward the ceiling. Hold. Don't let me push down. When compared to the plantar flexion posture achieved using the gastrocnemius and soleus, substitution by the flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus results in the forefoot plantar flexing, but incomplete movement of the calcaneus. Substitution by the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis pulls the foot into eversion. In contrast, tibialis posterior substitution inverts the foot.